So welcome back guys. On the last video, I uh, destroyed the drone and tore up the tractor. So let's see if we can at least fix the tractor this time and get some mowing done with it. What did I do? Tore up the, the tractor. I tore up your sister's tractor? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to fix it, okay? We're going to fix the, the tractor. Now it broke. Also, I had some comments about the weird way that I tried to stabilize that mower, and I think I have some stabilizer bars somewhere. I do have some stabilizer bars. So here's how I attempted to stabilize this mower back here by shortening these chains, and people mentioned that that really wasn't the way to do it, that I needed some stabilizer bars, and honestly, I didn't know what they were for until then, so thank y'all. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this thing uh, out of here, up to my dad's house, because there's some mowing I wanna do up there. We're gonna get this fixed, and we're also gonna get these chains lengthened and the stabilizer bars on, and see if we can get this thing going again. So to transport the tractor, of course, we need a trailer, and this has kind of been the theme of the last couple videos, is, is flat tires. Let's see if we can get this tire patched. This is soapy water, man. Mm -hmm. That is soapy water. It sure is soapy water. Well, I was hoping it would be right on the top, but it's not. So we need to go ahead and hook the trailer to the truck. What are we going to do? I'm on my own in the truck. You got it, sir. I'm on the truck. I'm on the truck. All right, hop in. You going to drive? No. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I just can't find it. Um, it's only about six miles to my dad's house, so I'll just make sure this has got enough air in it. And uh, if I have issues with it, I'll check it again up there. What is that? That's an oil filter. That's an oil filter. You got it. Hold up. So we've got a little issue right here. This is the pin that the stabilizer bar attaches to on the tractor, and it is so worn out that a linch pin won't fit into it anymore. And the same size pin fits perfectly on the other side, so I'm gonna try to clean it out a little bit with a drill bit right here. You got your dump truck? I need to lift the dump truck. All right, I'll come help you. Hang on. What is that chain? This is a chain, isn't it? It's on the tractor. It sure is. All right, I'm hoping that'll work. What you got? Watch this. This is what dump trucks are for. That's a big load, isn't it? Now what? Dig it out. Dump it out. There you go. Spread it. All right, so he's inside, and what I'm gonna do now is see if I can get this tractor loaded up on the trailer, and hopefully our uh, little patch there will work with the chain.
So let's see what we can do about repairing this. Um, so here's what I'm here's what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm just gonna weld this back together. And before you start typing your furious comments about that, uh, the reason that I'm gonna do that is I don't think I've got anything to lose. The proper way to do this would be to replace both of these pieces right here. And I could probably do that for less than $100, but if I'm replacing both of these pieces, why not try to just fix both of these pieces? I never have once adjusted this, so I'm not gonna be losing any kind of functionality and you know what i have to lose if it doesn't last if it lasts two months if it lasts two years i mean that's fine it's an expedient fix both of these parts are mostly useless anyway so i don't feel like i've got a whole lot to lose so i'm just gonna see if i can get this good and hot and weld them together and uh, we'll see how long it lasts Well, <laughs> I don't I don't pretend to be a welder on the channel. <laughs> I'm not drumming up any welding business here. Man, it's ugly. And uh, if it lasts a couple months, that's fine. If it lasts six years, that's fine. If it outlasts the tractor, that's fine. I think we're gonna be okay with it. So now we need to fix this. If you remember on the last video, we took these chains and shortened them. And that was what I was trying to use to stabilize this mower back here. What we wanna do is take these out and put them back where they were, because now I've got a set of stabilizer bars that are gonna do that task uh, a whole lot better than these do. Like that. I'm going to turn that upside down. There we go. All right, so we put those blue stabilizer bars on there, and unfortunately, one would fit on one side, but both of them wouldn't fit on both sides, and we tried to figure, why, figure out why. It turns out this mower appears to be a little bit narrower right here at the three-point hitch. So unfortunately, all I can do is put one stabilizer bar. I even found another set of stabilizer bars, and those didn't work either. They were basically the same length. So we're gonna use one. It's better than nothing. Actually, it's a lot better than nothing, but anyway, that's what's going on. 
Let's go ahead and sharpen the blades and see if we can get something accomplished. So this is what we're going to be mowing and as you can see a lot of this area has already been mowed my dad has been out here working on it and uh, what we're going to do this year is we're planning on within the next month or two putting in food plots about two acres worth of food plots of winter rye and oats out here and we're mowing it down now for a couple of reasons one reason that'll stimulate this stuff to new growth and we'll get a much better kill when we spray uh, roundup on it and also it's going to help give us more organic matter to till into the soil and i know a lot of people are going to say man you should have done some no-till stuff out here and you know what i've seen a lot about that and i'm sure that it works but i'm just not willing to make this field an experimental field this year we're going old school so anyway that's what we want to do we need to go ahead and finish mowing this and uh here in a few weeks we'll start spraying and planting and do all that doing all that fun stuff getting ready for deer season let's go ahead and get started here
So that's pretty well going to do it for the mowing. And from where I'm standing, you can pretty well see everything. Uh, up here, we've got a little bit of a kind of a plateau, I guess. And then it kind of hills down towards the woods. And we'll have oats in one half of this and rye, winter rye in the other half of it. And uh, now that we've got and we've got all this cut we'll have a lot of good organic matter into the soil as fertilizer as well as this stuff will start putting on new growth all this grass and briars and stuff and that new growth will die a whole lot easier once we put roundup on it so we're in pretty good shape out here it'll probably be five or six weeks before we really start planting it'll probably be two or three weeks before we get our spraying done but i'm going to try I always say I'm going to try to make videos and it just never happens. I'm going to try to make just one single video of all of our food plots this year on my place and my dad's place, uh, the planting, the growing, and everything else. So hopefully we'll have a video on that maybe sometime in November or December. But uh, anyway, um, this is looking great and I'm really excited to see what we end up getting, uh, what we end up accomplishing out here as far as the food plot goes. All right, guys, so we're going to be done for the day. And uh, my weld held really, really well. Oh, I think that rhymed. So here it is right here. We put some blue paint on it to make it not look so terrible. Uh, so you can just barely tell. But anyway, it held. Uh, it's, you know, I'm not a welder in the least, but I think it's going to be okay. It held real solid doing all that. Of course, this wasn't particularly rough duty stuff. I can still adjust anything that I need to with this right arm. And like I said, I just don't have anything to lose by welding that back together. My tractor's back up and running. If it breaks in a couple of months, I still have not really lost anything except time. So looking good. This one stabilizer arm right here, stabilizer bar, uh, did help quite a bit. I'd love to have two, but I just, I really do think it's this implement. I think this is a little bit narrower. My dad uh, measured his mower and it was about two inches wider than this one. So it's kind of odd, but this seems to be just a little bit narrower than, than most. But anyway, looking good, tractor's back up and going and it's performing really, really well. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.